Okay, so talking about uh, marketing, right? But then you need to have the money to promote, right? Mm -hmm. I know that uh, investing properties yes. make you wealthy, I can say that, uh -huh. right? And then, but then right now, is it very hard to have a chance in Hong Kong to catch this kind of opportunity? Right well, now? obviously, uh, uh, as everything, as financial markets go up and down, up uh -huh. and down. Um, as we know at the moment, mm -hmm. property in Hong Kong is very high. Property okay. prices are very, very high. And there's a reason for that. There's a huge demand, both from locals, from China, uh, low interest rates. And uh, that's caused this phenomenon for the last number of years, caused a shortage of property. Um, but it depends why you're buying the property. If you're buying for yourself because you want to live in it, mm -hmm. and you're going to be there for years, instead of paying rent, I always say, lock in, don't worry so much about the price. Because if you're going to be there for a long, long time, um, you're living there. You're like a long-term I'm a long-term investor. If you're buying to speculate, then you've got to get it right. Then you've got to look at when the market is down, mm -hmm. uh, when everybody doesn't want to buy, you have to have the guts to step in and buy. Um, that, so those are things that are very, very uh, uh, important, uh, you know, because uh, it's like shares, you know, if you buy too high, uh, if you're going to keep it long term, it doesn't matter. Eventually things go go up. And so I, I think with property, um, everyone has different circumstances. And so, but if, if, it's, if it's really for yourself, then don't worry.